Hey guys, welcome back. Voice a little messed up. Uh, we're gonna get back on the Chevelle so we can get it moved. We gotta get this uh, steering pump all cleaned up. Get it back up in there. Uh, let me flip it around so I'll show you. guys we've got that steering box all cleaned up steering column put back in uh, primered it and then we painted it with some metal paint I think it said like iron or something but I don't really care for it looks too shiny can't really set it down I got the engine lift sitting underneath the car we uh, got this motor over here got this from Jack Got the tranny too. They came out of a an old dump truck, like a I don't know, 82 dump truck. So that's 400 turbo tranny. Got the valve cover off. This is supposed to be like a rebuild or something. Looks like it. I'll put some pictures of that dump truck up, man. It was rusty, about broken half, getting it on the trailer. But pulled spark plugs out. That cylinder back over there, it was bad looking to spark plug it. It was green, all kinds of nasty stuff. I'll put a picture of that up. And then uh the rest of it don't look too bad. So we'll get the intake off here, see what the valley looks like. Alright guys, looks pretty good in here. Doesn't look bad. Not a lot of gunk and stuff. Um, it must have rebuilt that motor in that dump truck and this tranny I was looking at it it's going to bolt on tail so I got to get a different tail take that end off and take that uh, thing but that's a rust more tag on that transmission so hopefully it'll be a good one too bad it didn't come out of an RV it'd have an RV cam in it and it's got a dump truck cam all right, we'll get tore down some more, get the wheel pan off, flip around, look at it. Hey guys, let's get these heads off this motor. Can't see what size this is. I need my glasses. Oh yeah, I brought them. The old eyeballs on. Ah, that's not the right size. That's not the right size. Guess we're playing hunt the socket. The right size, but that one wore out. There we go. Oh. Go ahead and get all these rocker arms loosened up. Actually look like some uh, aftermarket lock nuts that are on here.
Get this one off. Loosen it. Uh, I think it was this one. Get this dipstick out of here. Still looks in good shape. Where's the box? There's the box. What's wrong with that head bolt? It lifted the whole head off. Must be plugged in there some. Uh. All right, let's get all these push rods out of here. Are right, we keeping these in order? No, it doesn't matter. Not really, just check them, make sure the ends are smashed and nothing's bent when we ever use them again. This ain't no nap car motor. This one needs to loosen up still. So do they even use push rods and NASCAR anymore? I don't even know about those newfangled motors. Uh, oh shit, I pulled that whole head off. This is a gun. These are all loot undone. Stuck in a head gasket, I guess. Alright. That bolt's not coming out.
one bolt left in that side. It's, it's out, just doesn't want to spin out. some down here in the motor like shit. Bring you guys in for a closer look. Uh, hopefully we can use this motor. I thought this side would be the worst. That's the stuff there. That cylinder. Look at that one. Phew, sweet. Still see some of the crosshatch in there. Just leaving it set for years. All right, we're going to get the vacs fired up, sweep this out, and see what we can do to clean it up. Get you back in a little bit. All right, guys. We got it cleaned up a little bit. Looks pretty good. There's a little bit of marking on the cylinder walls, but yeah, it don't feel that bad. A lot better than what it did look like. We're rolled over here and uh, look at the bottom end. We'll have uh, Landon spin this over. I think my worm gear is going bad in the uh, the spinner over thing on the back. Go ahead and spin it over, see if it'll do it now. Put a little grease in there. It's turn. battery died I think something's wrong with that worm gear it used to spin over a lot easier uh, those are just old uh, brake parts out of a semi the adjuster and stuff and then that's the, the adjuster yeah S cam I think they called it so spent spun over halfway used to turn real easy now it seems like it's binding up bad Yeah. 
least this is a four bolt main. See down in there a little bit. It's not bad. Looks like it's 40 over. You see numbers on the side of those pistons. I don't know if you guys have seen them or not. But that changes the whole color of it landed. Looks better like that. All right. We're going to get this cleaned up a little more and maybe throw some paint on it. we got to take the mark bouncer off, time chain cover, and all that yet. We'll get back here in a little bit. Hey, we got this thing all painted up. At least the block part. We got that painted up. Uh, where did I put the intake? The intake. So over here, we tried some of that blue iridescent paint, candy blue, whatever the hell you want to call it. It didn't come too, out too bad on there. The valve covers, they're back here. They were a little cold when I sprayed it. So they got some runs in them. But it'll be all right for now. Something to look at. Right now, we got to take and move everything. Take the Chevelle off the lift. I think we're going to try to put it underneath the 55. I don't know if it's going to fit or not. Eh, no, I don't think it's going to fit. But jack uh bought a blazer with a blown motor so we're gonna change that motor out for him here probably tomorrow so this is gonna be the end of this video uh we'll come back once we get jack's car out of here and get back on it all right peace how are you doing Vinny? Where are you going? Here goes Penny. All right.